Don't fear that. Don't worry about that. Leave that alone. Don't, don't go over there. See, that's been the Holy Ghost talking to you. Oh, yeah. Not a problem. But one day the Holy Ghost going to shut up. He ain't going to talk to you no more. He's going to leave you to yourself. You're going to leave you to yourself. I don't want to be left to myself. I've been there. I ain't no good to me. Amen. I ain't no good to me. All right, Lord. See, these things are dropping out the sky. I'm telling y'all. This stuff ain't on my paper now. Amen. Amen. God just told me to go to Final One for real. Matthew 6. For some of you worry. And worry brings fear. Amen. Quit worrying about things, people. Quit worrying about it. Put it in the hands of God. Amen. Things mean jack. The newest Gucci, the newest hat, the newest shoe means nothing. People get a job before they even have a bank account. They want to go buy the newest jersey, the newest hat, the newest shoe because they all that and still ain't got a bank account. They got $200 to think they all that, $1,500 to all that. That ain't even a scratch on the surface of what God wants to give you. But he wants to see if he can trust you. Amen. If you want to take it and go buy a Gucci, he said, well, next week, I ain't giving you nothing. You'll be right back at Dollar General. Because <laughs> I can't trust you. <laughs> bless me, Lord, bless me. Well, why should I? You are treating what I've given you disrespectfully. Amen? Amen. Amen. All right, where do I want to go? Matthew 6. I want to go down to 25. Oh, okay. I think it's in the verse. Uh, there we go, 25, starting at 25. No, go up to 24, because I need to explain that. No man can serve two masters, for either he will hate the one and love the other, or else he will hold to the one and despise the other. You cannot serve God and man. Man is the old word for the God of money. You can't serve me and money, because money controls you. It becomes your God. Now watch this. You can't serve God and crack. You can't serve God and alcohol. You can't serve God and that cooch. You can't serve God and that six pack, ladies. You can't serve God and your boss on the job. You can't serve God when you're serving something else. Amen. Amen. Man. Anything outside our Lord. Money. But when money serves you, then it's of God. But when the money is controlling you, it's not a God. Then he goes on to say in verse 25, therefore, now every time you see the word therefore, wherefore it means because of everything I just said. Therefore, I say unto you, take no thought. Every time you see the word thought, it means worry. That's the old King James word for worry. Take no thought for your life. Stop worrying about that. I remember somebody said that. Or what you shall eat, where your food's going to come from. Uh-huh. Or what you shall drink. Or yet for your body. Or what you shall put on. Don't worry about your clothes. See? I ain't no, you told me to go ahead after I just said what I'm going to say. Is not the life more than meat and the body more than clothes? Behold, the fowls of the air, they sow not, neither do they reap. The Lord gather in the barns. Yet your heavenly Father feeds them. Ain't that deep? Are you not much more better than them? Question mark. Aren't you better than some birds in the air? Woo. <laughs> Which of you, by taking thought or worry, can add one cubit into a statue? And why take you worry for your clothes? Consider the lilies of the field, how they grow. They toil not, neither do they spin. They don't do no work. <laughs> Watch what he says here. Verse 29, and yet I say unto you that even Solomon in all his glory was not arrayed like one of them. Ooh, mm. Wherefore, here we go again, because everything he just said, if God so clothed the grass of the field, which today is and tomorrow is cast into the oven, shall he not much more clothe you? Mm. O oh, you of little faith. Amen. Here we go again. Therefore, <laughs> take no worry. Say, what shall we eat? Or what shall we drink? Or what shall, or what with all shall we be clothed? For after all these things do the Gentiles seek, meaning those who are not Jewish. 
us. For your heavenly Father know that you shall have need of all these things. Here we go and clip. Ready? Amen. But seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things shall be added unto you. Take therefore no worry for tomorrow. For tomorrow shall take worry for the things of itself. Sufficient the day is the evil thereof. So sufficient for the day is the evil thereof. Father, we just thank you in the mighty name of Jesus. I, I pray that God is coming. I know I am not it. Because I'm guilty of walking in fear again, Father. I'll be the first one to stand here and say this verse that says, Be my living tale. So I need your help. I need your help. Show me your way. Because my ways are not your ways. Your thoughts are not my thoughts. So I ask each and every one of these individuals that they give up their fear. Hallelujah. And that they begin to fear you, Father. So I pray for everybody in this room. And I ask these blessings in Jesus' name. And let the house say amen. Amen. amen.